Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now we have finished the CSS part and all those things we have finished it, right? Now it's time for us to write the DOM events. So manipulating the DOM, let's try to do it. Now here I have added this main.js file. So let's create that main.js file here. So I have created here main.js. Let's go into this one. So first we'll work on this delete button. So whenever the user clicks on this delete button, I need to delete this entire row. Okay, milk, sugar, and all those things. So there are there are two ways to achieve this one. One is the inefficient way of approaching. There is nothing but catching all the delete buttons and attaching the click event listener to the each button. Or otherwise, the second method is using the event delegation. So that means for the UL, we can add it and we can uh, do the bubbling phase and we can make use of this bubbling phase and we can write the delete method. So I'll try to implement the both the methods in this video. First, we will try to do the inefficient way of uh, achieving this click event thing so that we can have a clear understanding between those two. Why? Because this type of way, most of the developers uh, will try to implement it. If you try to see it in the projects and all those things, most of the developers try to achieve this one in using this inefficient way of programming. So the, the event delegation and all those things is a different one. So now let's try to do it. So here I am trying to take the delete buttons. So delete elements. I am trying to catch all the delete elements. And delete elements how I can catch. So document dot query selector all. So it is present in the grocery list. Grocery list and delete dot delete which is having dot delete. That's it. So if you try to console the delete elements, let's see delete elements. So if you try to console this one, and here is this is the console, right? Yeah. Let's refresh this page. And here we are able to see the node list, and these are all the delete buttons. Fine. So in order to achieve this one, so what I need to do as this one is the node list, so we for each loop will be working. So I'm catching each element. And here I can use for loop for each loop and for each element I will try to add event listener add event listener of click item and here we can add the method so which will have an event okay so now here we'll have a console.log of event that's it so we are catching each one and we are applying the event listener if i click here so we are able to get it so first what i need to do first we need to catch this delete element okay sorry we need to catch this delete element here oh sorry yeah here we need to catch this delete element and we need to go to the parent element that is li and this li we need to delete it so how can i delete so let's catch this li element so that means let li element is equal to event dot target target means nothing but delete button dot parent element we can use this parent element right so now if i console this li element what it will try to do what what we can see it let's go to the console and if i click here see we are able to get that particular li element now we are now we can remove this li element so i can use li element dot remove so I can use directly this remove method and if I click on the sugar, see sugar has been deleted, milk has been deleted, pizza. So this is one way. So remove method also and I have shown you the older method which works in all the browsers that is remove child. So if you want to use it, so li element, we need to go to the parent element again. That is nothing but ul parent element dot remove child and remove child and we need to pass the child. The, here in this scenario, child is nothing but this li element and we can also use this scenario also. Now if I click on the sugar, then also it will work without any problem. So this is one way, this inefficient way of using this click event thing. Now the next the next way of using this one is the next way of writing the code is using the event delegation. That means using the event bubbling phase. So now let's remove this all code or otherwise let's comment this all the code. So here what I will try to do is so here event bubbling phase. I am using the event delegation concept. Grocery ul is equal to document dot query selector of hash grocery list 
inside that one ul that's it so we got this grocery list let's console this grocery el i don't know i didn't remember exactly i'm thinking where it will work fine yeah we got the ul thing okay we got the el and we will apply this grocery grocery el dot add event listener of click event and here delete item so i am using delete item so now here let's have a function delete item okay i'm having this delete item which will take an event so that's it so now what i need to do so whenever i click on this one so we will be able to get delete item is not function delete item we have used it right yeah let's try to refresh it again okay delete item is not defined function delete item of event so we are using grassy as in so fine so let's see let's see whether it will work or not so here i will use console.log let's use this one yeah this time it is working so if i click here i we are able to do it so fine so now we got the delete item right first what i need to do so here we got the ul thing so first we need to capture the target so let target element is equal to event dot target okay event dot target and here we got the target element so target element dot parent element parent element is it will go to the la element and we can use the remove method then now if i click on this milk sugar thing it is removed if i click on the pizza then also it is getting removed so it should not be removed when i click on this button only it should be removed then what i need to do here if you go to the inspect element and here we are having a class is equal to delete right so here i can use in a such a scenario that console.log okay target element dot class name we already learned about this class name thing so let's comment out this one and here let's click on this one okay we got the delete if i click here we are getting it as an item so fine so what i will try to do if sorry if target target element dot class name is equal to is equal to delete if it has a delete class then we can remove this one then otherwise you don't do this all the concept so that's it if i try to refresh this page and if i click on the delete then it is working if i click on the pizza it is not working so this is what i wanted now this is the most efficient way of writing the event listener code why because we are using a single event click event using the event delegation and event bubbling so we are able to delete this one so here we are looping over for each loop for each element and we are attaching the event listener for each element which is an inefficient way so hope you understood about this the two ways of adding this one and we have completed this delete method functionality also so then afterwards you'll try to see adding an item here directly in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you